benchmark from international but, but, prices can there'll I be competition can over I here you, that will fix the can prices. I if you say you need to take a benchmark somewhere, those yes. are your exact words, why should the benchmark be the international cost of refining when the Indian cost of refining is considerably low? No, I, but, I, I'll give but, you another uh, benchmark. One, one moment. Why can't the benchmark, the benchmark no, why can't the benchmark be international price of crude plus your refining cost? Make that the benchmark. Why are you making it the international price of the see, product? No, I don't see why you're against these public sector companies. This I'm not is against, so I'm they not effectively against, you are. No, no, because no, this not. is a price right now no, I'm being not. given to public sector companies. So it is the government's one form in which the government is making I'm all money. For public sector, so, but not but at the expense no, of putting burdens on the getting, people. Then you're getting confused. No, I'm see, not. I'm, I'm no. saying why are you burdening the people for this? You won't have to do that. Once there is greater play of uh, private sector firms, there'll be a meaningful concept of price. Then you don't need a benchmark. International, oh. domestic, nothing. Oh. You know, oh. By choosing to charge the customer the international crude price plus the international price refining. of refinement, whereas the actual price of refinement is a domestic price and much lower, you are guaranteeing to the oil companies a measure of profit at the cost of the consumer. The consumer is paying more than the actual company is paying per litre because the company is refining domestically but getting repaid at the international price of refinement. That's the unfairness he's talking but about. But Karan, I have to clarify one thing. The company's profits that's being talked about here is profits after you take into account the subsidies that is coming from the government. In fact, Wait. if you remove the fiscal support that is coming to these uh, oil marketing companies, actually they make a loss. So they are making a profit I taking into account the subsidies that come from the government. So there is actually I, I, something I, I, completely I misleading I in this. I don't accept that logic. I'll tell you why. You see, you've given the example of uh, Italian shoes. You take another example. Take the crude. I so, so, no, 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 tell you, yeah. you, know, you import, the, let's say the international price of crude is 100 rupees. On that you put a customs duty of 20, it becomes 120. On that you put a, an excise duty of 20 more, it becomes 144. And then you say that you are selling it at 120 and therefore government is subsidizing 24 rupees. Is that makes any sense? Don't know what is your subsidy you're talking of. You are already charging 20 rupees more than the international price. No oil, and then you turn around and say there's a subsidy. Yeah. The subsidy is there because of your tax but structure. But you net it all out. Once you net it all out, it all out uh, you you are actually paying more. Into can, 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 can I once again try and intervene yes. and suggest that in fact now he's moved a stage further. He's actually saying this time round that it's not just unfair that you are charging the Indian consumer for a cost of refinement that Indian companies don't pay, but on top of that, you're then charging the consumer for a level of taxation which takes the price the consumer in India pays above the price that the consumer abroad would pay. And this is the point he made earlier, that off petrol, as an example, 51% of the price is government tax, compared to, say, Sri Lanka, where it's only 37%, Pakistan, where it's only 30%, Thailand, where it's just 24%. Yeah. You would be able to reduce the price if you just reduce the incidence of tax. Uh, and you could still Karan, this define a, at whatever price you want. This is a deliberate decision on our part. For, for, first of all, you're quite right. Compared to our neighboring countries, we tax uh, heavier. But compared to many host of other countries, non-neighboring countries, we actually tax lower and the price is lower compared to, for instance, European countries. But more importantly, it's a choice we've made. Petrol, we place it at a higher price. Kerosene, we put it at a lower price compared to our neighbors. So cross-subsidy is taking place. So there is a cross-subsidy and I feel this is something, in fact, what I would have no, liked I, in this document is a bit of a serious discussion. It's an important move the government has made. Instead, you know, it's a hysterical document. Let, let me put this to you. Yeah. Let me put this to you. The essential point that I think Dr. Basu is making is this, that if India is going to provide cheap subsidized kerosene to the poor, and that's a subsidy that everyone defends, then it has to recoup the cost. And it's recouping that essentially by adding to the cost of petrol, a little or major, and a perhaps diesel. And those are people who can afford to pay. This cross-subsidization surely is something you must accept. No, no, I, I said it at the beginning. I have no dispute with cross-subsidies. In fact, I want them. I want them in all the sectors where you subsidize the needy in, in this process. But the question is, it's not only cross-subsidy here. What what you are earning? Let's say, let's put it. Uh, when, uh, please bear with me for a moment. We need to import crude oil because without that, our economy doesn't survive. It's the lifeline. It's like importing uh, food grains. Let's say in a period of famine. That I understand. Uh, you know, you have to feed our people. Now, will you will you tax that food grain that you are importing? which is required to feed your people. Will you tax the crude oil that is imported, which is required to feed your economy? Except for the fact that... No, no, you tell me the logic. Tell revenue. me the logic. No, uh, yeah. All source countries... Of, source of revenue. Source of revenue. Now, what, what Mr. Basu is saying is that this is a choice we have made. 
I'm questioning the choice. You are cho made a choice of giving concessions to corporates and the high-end income taxpayers okay. and, and taxing these products which fall on the burden on the poor. But that the choice is itself is faulty. Dr. Basu, let that me choice put it itself like this. Is Before faulty. we take the break, let me clarify the two essential issues that the two of you, in a sense, are disputing over. And I'm clarifying it so that the audience can follow it closely. The first dispute is that you are charging consumers for a refining process at the price at which it happens abroad, whereas the refining actually happens in India and is cheaper. And that difference is profit for the company at the cost of the consumer. Secondly, he says that you're also taxing at the rate at which you import rather than at the rate at which you would manufacture and refine in India. So at both levels of cost, yeah. you are actually charging more than you should. Yeah, let, let, let me clarify again. This is not as if the consumers are being taxed and companies are being paid. That would be true if these were private sector companies. This is a transfer that is taking place, which is into the hands of the government and a government that is running a variety of programs. Yes, there are some that you may dispute and you can say that change another tax rate, but that's another debate we are getting into. It's a government's decision mm -hmm. that products which are consumed mm -hmm. heftily by the well-off people like petroleum, you keep a certain amount of tax. However, all this taken together, it's still true that the net subsidy that flows into these products is actually on the whole more I'm, from the government. I'm questioning the subsidy itself. Without your tax structure, there is no subsidy. There is a reverse subsidy. People are paying more than what it costs internationally. People are paying more than what it costs internationally. There is a reverse People subsidy. People are not paying more. Than, if you want to compare... Well, no, no, you minus the tax structure. Like Pakistan no, no, and Sri Lanka, okay. yes, we are paying more. No, no. You, but there are anywhere, many other countries. Anywhere. anywhere you, you take on, the, by the way, it's on float in China yeah. as of 2008. Fine. It's on float in Malaysia. Except no, that's no, a different issue. That's a different issue. Yeah. 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 You know, they are not You take the spot prices. Take the spot prices of crude at any point of time. What you are paying, a consumer is paying in India at any point of time for any one of the petroleum products is higher. Because of the tax structure. Charge. 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 Higher, higher than let, let, than let, the international let, price. Let, no, let, than the international no, price. Of no, course it's it is. higher than a whole host of European countries. Several Asian countries. countries. It's no, no, higher than... Gen, minus higher the tax than, structure. Minus the tax structure that, than it is. Uh, the final Gentleman. price that our consumers are paying is less than that of a whole host of countries. If you compare with Pakistan and Sri Lanka, you'll get a different... No, 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 uh, Gentlemen, no, no, I'm going no, to no, take, no, take no, a break no, at that no, point no, because we've reached a point in the argument where actually the divisions and the differences of opinion between the two of you are crystal clear. You're trying to actually resolve them. I don't think you're going to succeed. No, no. Let's take a break and come back and turn to the central issue that remains, which is the government's claim that if it hadn't acted, oil companies could have gone bankrupt and the CPM's claim that in fact oil companies are making whopping profits and the government isn't telling the truth. That's in a moment's time. See you after the break.